<laughs> How you guys doing? Um, we just finished our virtual open house on Facebook Live using Zoom. Uh, if anyone has questions how to do that, you can contact us at sales at convergerealtyteam.com. So how do you feel that open house went? We're going to stick around now. I think we're live till about 2 o'clock. Uh, we're not live. Our event is scheduled till about 2 o'clock. So we're going to stick around here for a little while longer, live, and then we'll be here if you want to email us at sales at convergerealtyteam.com. Or comment. Or comment or anything. Yeah, so go ahead and um, I will tell you we have the... Uh, we switched from our camera. We were using a webcam earlier to shoot on Zoom to attach it to our laptop. We've now switched to an iPhone. Uh, the iPhone is a little bit farther away from my senior vision. And uh, so if you do pop up, Katie's going to try to monitor on the laptop too. So if you see her looking down, that's why. So Katie, how do you think that went? Um, I think it went really well. It's, it was nice to have the ability to show people that were watching how to look at the tours online um, so that when we're not here, they can still go online and find different ways to right. um, look at the houses that we've listed. And if people are interested in listing their homes, they can see some things we do for our clients. So I right. thought it was really good. Cool. Yeah, I agree. Um, and also, I think what's really important is that we're trying to put, we've always been using these tools, uh, all of our listings we've done, virtual video tours, uh, uh, 3D tours. Uh, we just found it was more ways of getting our listings out there um, yeah. and it helped us get attention. Yeah. So, but now we're doing them and we're doing them better than we did them before because yeah. they are more important. <laughs> um, so some of the things uh, for people maybe not been on the first call or live uh, uh, session, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about um, what you've done and some to talk about Hawaii and then talk about today and things okay, like that. Sure. Um, so we had a, our agent reach out to me and um, she has clients moving here from Hawaii and they are interested in one of our listings. Um, and. She sent them links to the 3D tours we have, the pictures, the walkthroughs, um, and they really liked the house, but said some of the videos were a little bit too fast, so they wanted a slower, more thorough video to really get a good look, um, especially since they're not here to look at the house. So um, I went over and took a very slow and thorough video for them, um, and really showed them every single closet, up and down, and cabinets and everything, um, and we put it on YouTube and sent it to Hawaii for them to look at. So. Right, right, nice. Yeah, so the so videos are too fast because I videoed a lot of them. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep them below two minutes. Um, and, uh, and and it's tough sometimes on some, even this house, you know, uh, we didn't even do the first level, which is the garage. Yeah. Uh, we didn't do a lot on the outside, but uh, just doing the video tour and getting all the, so there's so many features and rooms inside two minutes. I think the tour you took lasted about 10 minutes. Was it 10 minutes? Oh, it was longer than that maybe. You did three clips. Yeah, it was like 13 minutes, I think. Yeah, so it was very nice, very thorough. And then what we did is we went back, she brought that back. We went into the studio, our, <laughs> EXP, our Converge Realty Team brokered by EXP Studio, um, which is like a closet. But um, so yeah, and we edited that down. And so we sliced the pieces together. Um, and then, and the reason you did it in three is so that you could have um, some breaks in like between Floors yeah, and the well the, client, the sellers were home at that time, so um, they couldn't leave the house, they were under quarantine too, so um, they were upstairs while I was downstairs, and then we switched and um, then we leave. Right, right. So, so that worked out for a lot of different reasons. So then we took it and we spliced it together, put some transitions. Yeah, um, really good. Yeah, and then we did one in Moyoc. We are, we are licensed, Converge Realty Team is licensed in Virginia and North Carolina. Um, we, have, we have listings in Moyoc, right? We have right now, and we're about to do another one next week. We got um, so this is nice. So those two properties were very large, and so we hired our friend, our photographer, to he operates a drone. He's fully licensed, and uh, he came in and did some very nice aerial shots and, and put that together for us. So yeah, so we're doing all types of things. But uh, so we did something similar to this, and what we did earlier in Moyoc. So we had a showing, so we had to be there anyway. So what we did. Is we got there early, we went in, opened everything up like we talked about, cabinets, closets, so when the buyers came through, they didn't have to open anything up, and have to touch. We wiped down, as we turned on the lights, we wiped down the white light switches. We had gloves and, uh, and, uh, and twice. Twice. twice, yeah. <laughs> and um, the reason I wear gloves with those is because my hands are getting so dry from wiping them down. <laughs> so it's more of a skin protection than anything else. But, um, so, 
we wiped everything down as we were opening things and wiped all the doorknobs and all that stuff. We went outside, they went through, did their little their tour, yeah. came out, uh, thanked us, and they left. And then we shot before the sellers came back a real quick virtual open house outside in yeah. the front yard, uh, which was very beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Spring has sprung, and they've done a great job of landscaping. And what's what's the address of that? Since we're talking about uh, 100 Kingfisher Cove. Cove, right? I was going to say Court. Me too. Kingfisher Cove in Moyer. Yeah. So if you want to see that, that's uh, going to be on our website shortly. We're still, I'm still adding that down a little bit, uh, making some changes. Uh, so yeah, that'll be on there shortly. So that was fun. And then what else um, can we talk about? Um, so if you're thinking about buying and selling, buying or selling, or buying and selling, we can help you with both. <laughs> uh, as we mentioned earlier, we have uh, buyer agents. Uh, Brian checked in on our live feed. Katie uh, has a couple of clients. She's yeah, trying to Yeah. Kind. Uh, I have one client with they bought, so Katie helped with that too. So she's much, she's good at that stuff. I, I'm, I don't know. We, we. That's the nice thing about having a team. We've got our team members, and there are certain things I'm good at, and there are certain things they're good at, and that's why if you hire us, you're only paying for one real estate agent. Yeah. But you're getting a real whole, a whole team. Yeah. So we've got transaction coordinators and compliance coordinators, our broker. Uh, everybody and the other thing what well, we didn't mention that the last thing um, talk a little bit about this uniqueness of exp realty and why we joined them now we joined exp back in january yeah. december january yeah. talk a little bit about what's unique about exp realty and why we're part of that, that uh, well it's a cloud-based brokerage so um, even before this started we knew we wanted to have um, more flexibility and where we worked um, but still the opportunity to have an office. So we do have an office, although some HP agents do not. Right. Um, we still have an office, but um, everything is virtual, including training. So we're just a little um, avatar in a world. We walk around and go to meetings, and um, we can see each other and meet and even do our team meetings there. We just right. go and get a table and sit down. Right. Um, so having that flexibility was important to us. But now, since everyone has to work from home, um, it was a really easy transition for us. Yeah. Nothing really changed. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, so, and we can, we've gotten, we've received permission from our broker for do a couple things with that. We can, they can give guest passes to the world, which is EXP world, which yeah. is what we call it, to our clients, and we can meet them there. Uh, I have found that's a little complicated, not because getting into the world is complicated, but setting up, because you have to, you set up an avatar. Yeah. So, so what I find is much better, and I like it a lot more, is doing the Zoom meeting that we did earlier yeah. as part of our Facebook Live. We can actually see you just like this. We can get feedback from you know your ver ver physical cues as well as your verbal, and we can we can feel when you're uncomfortable. We can you can sense, and I think you just make a better connection that way. Yeah. And we can um, walk around for a house and show them a the house. Right, right, and then they could show us. Let's say it's a listing, um, a new listing. They're nervous, you know, they want to list soon. If you want to list in the next three months, please reach out and contact us at sales at convergerealtyteam.com. Because right now, while you're stuck at the house, we can do a video tour with your iPhone or your phone. Yeah. Uh, or if you want, we can come there when you're not there and not touch anything, wipe everything down like we do, <laughs> uh, if we do touch something. Uh, and we can tell you things you need to do to get ready. So what are the most common things people should do to prepare their listings? Because you're kind of the staging yeah. person on the team. Um, declutter. Pack as much stuff up as you need. Um, it's nice because it's changing weather, and although we have some cold times here, um, I'd say pack up all your winter stuff. It's, uh, that's the bulky stuff in the closets, but um, pack all that up and put it in the garage or in storage or even in the corner of a room um, just to make it, you know, let the less stuff, the least amount of stuff out and in the closets, the better. So people right. can see how big everything is and see in the closet. So. Right. Well, and why is that important? Because what's the first thing we're going to want to do when we come on site to help list your house, right? The first thing we're going to want to do is get out there and take pictures, video, 3D tour, all the tools that we're going to need to list your house, right? Uh, we do uh, professional photography or on most. We do, but even if we're not doing, even if we don't hire a professional photographer, we have equipment and we can do professional like. Uh, we're not professional <laughs> photographers, but it's better than you know an agent walking in with their iPhone. Yeah. And uh, my phone's over there. That's why I can't pick it up. Uh, we with their iPhone and taking a bunch of pictures with the lights off, and then putting those. And that's you know. So when people buy their houses, even the one reason we did that even before this the coronavirus you know epidemic or whatever. Um, 
The reason we did that before is because people are buying houses on their phone. I mean, if you anything you buy today, you do it pretty much on your phone or your computer. And so we wanted the best. So we wanted, when people looked at the pictures, we wanted them to see it at its best, like they were standing in the room. When they take a 3D tour, we want it to be like they're standing in the room. And then if you like it enough, uh, contact your agent and get a showing. If you don't have an agent, contact us and we can help you see that listing and any other. Um, so with that being said, so, so the decluttering and all that's important to get ready for pictures. Yep. Um, then the other thing to declutter for is because people are becoming your house. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're going to be walking through. So you want to get it, you know, depersonalized. Um, yeah. Well, I'll talk about, we have one client that has, well, everybody now, right? <laughs> has a home office. Yeah. Uh, if you're in a, you know, that type, if you're, in a, if you're in an office setting, if you work in an office setting today, you probably are working from home and you're either at your dining room table. Yeah. But one, of, right, an office. but one of our clients set up, tell them about the, uh, Linfield. Yeah. Uh, so she um, had a job where the information she's working with is um, need to be secure all the time. So that room remained locked during regular uh, showings of the house. Right. So we did a lot of extra pictures in that room. Um, we did lots of extra video time and walked around there when we could. Um, just so as people walked through the house, if they couldn't see that room, we could still tell them, hey, there's lots of pictures of that room. Here's about the size of the room. Um, to give them as much information as possible, but still keep it secure for her employer. Right. So that's, and we knew this was, we listed that home right at the beginning of the... Right when the start. Right? <laughs> so we, we kind of, everybody kind of knew they were going to work from home. They hadn't started yet, but everybody kind of had a feeling. So that's why when we took the pictures, we did extra, extra pictures of that room. Yeah. Um, and then, um, so yeah, so we had to have an agent say, well, you know, we can't go in that room. Hey, go to our website. There's five pictures from every angle, and it's a bedroom. So you know, there's only so many things. We but yeah. we showed the closets, we showed the windows, we showed the size of the room. Yeah. So that was that's just stuff we're doing uh, as professionals, as realtors, that we believe. You know, if you have to buy or sell, our job is to make it as safe and easy as possible for you to do that. Yeah. Um, let's see what else is there. Um, so back to EXP, we live in a virtual, we work in a virtual world. So our life, as far as work goes, hasn't changed since January when we first moved over to there. There's a lot more Clorox wipes involved. Now there is, right. <laughs> Which, you know, and, and so that's what's changed. What's, what, and really, what hasn't, we haven't changed what we do for photography or videos or 3D no, tours. We're changing how we're using them. I mean, today's a nice day. Uh, it's gonna be, what, 65 New degrees? Time. And this would've been our normal Sunday afternoon one to three or 12 to two or two to four would have been our normal open house day. Yeah. So we did just finish a virtual open house. Um, we're at the house, we're still working. We're, we're working harder now to do the same amount of business than we did before. Yeah. And I think if you talk to a lot of agents, a lot of them are sitting at home. I mean, I don't know, I, I, I know a few who, you know, I talked to them in training and not, not at the XP, but at other yeah. uh, brokerages and they're just not set up to continue to operate. You know, they're trying to do the Zoom thing if you're trying to figure out Zoom and, and virtual tours and all that stuff and working from home now, so uh, you're behind. Yeah, because yeah. uh, it's, 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 it takes a little bit. Now, when we did, you create your avatar when you become an EXP agent. You create an avatar, so you go into meetings and you are, if, if, if anybody can remember the Sims yeah. game, right? Or like on the Wii. Like the Wii, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> exactly like the Wii. Very good. Has your name over your head. Yeah. Um, so that I thought was going to be a little goofy. You know, I was like, oh gosh, you know, that's, that's just, that's just like little kid stuff. But I appreciate it because especially now when you walk into a meeting, we actually go to uh, uh, digital rooms and auditoriums and hold training and then they have the screen out front. And if you want to see it full screen, you click on it and it fills up your computer yeah. and it's just like you're sitting in class. Um, but I, I, I like when I look around and I see, hey, hey, there's Terry or, you know, there's Brian or, you know, or Joe. Uh, so, you know, and we can text, uh, message each other message each other inside the room. And we also have a thing called a uh, workforce, which is like a, ver it is a version of Facebook for just us. And uh, we can too. So if you're an agent and you've heard us and you've watched this <laughs> uh, and you'd like to find out more, if you think that sounds kind of cool, we can give you a guest pass, go in there and take you on a tour. We've been doing that for a lot. Actually, what they've allowed us to do, if you're just home bored and your brokerage doesn't provide you with any training, if you can't do business, um, and this is for anybody, not just in Virginia, um, 
or North Carolina where we're essential, we can do business as real estate agents. Some places you can't, some places you can't leave your house. Right. So if you're one of those agents and you see this, contact us at sales at convertedrealtyteam.com. We can give you a guest pass for, I think they said 60 days. Yeah. You go in, you can attend all the training that we attend on a weekly basis. For free. And there's, Learn. there's like 50 hours of live training. So you've really got a person just like this in front of your class, yeah. talking and doing a PowerPoint and, and answering live questions in the class. Um, you, they got a microphone that you can click and you can talk to them um, or you can just type it into the chat box. But, um, and then there's, which I don't think if you have a guest pass, I don't think you can get to this. There's recorded trainings of just about anything you can think of from yeah. holding a virtual open house to anything. Um, I'm sure if you ask for it though, we can get it to you. We can help you with that. But, you know, but anyway, if you just want to learn, I mean, a lot of the training we're doing in our company right now, our brokerage is how to stay safe. Uh, explaining how the different state executive orders affect us yeah. um, and how what we can and can't do, uh, which is, you know, they are the first ones, the EXP came out and said no more open houses in person, you know, right after the uh, governor put out the first executive order, the recommendation, yeah. before it was the, you know, the law. And we, so we switched modes and went right into virtual. So that's what we've been doing ever since. Uh, I think, you know, Real estate's still happening. We get a lot of showings on our listings. Yeah. It's just more trouble. Uh, this weekend, one of those on our listings, people want to see it, and we, you know, we're really questioning them. What you had, to, you know, you said. Yeah, I said if you looked at all the videos um, and all the tours first, are they really that? You know, are they really interested? Because um, the last thing we want to do is have people walking through a house that are just kind of thinking about buying a house or not really sure if it's the right house for them because they're put at risk and our seller put at risk. Um, and the agents too. So we're trying to um, put as much information online as possible to help narrow down the search. And if, if it happens to be yes, after the thing we still want to see it, we let them in the house today. Yeah. We, we, you know, we made it happen. So um, we're just making things easier for everybody. Right. Um, and say risk, risk reduction. I don't know that we can make it 100% safe. But before we leave this place today, you can see we're here on the countertop. We're all over the place. Uh, we will do the same thing for our for this as we do for all other listings for showings. We'll get the Clorox wipes and gloves and we'll wipe down all the horizontal surfaces for you Navy guys and gals. Uh, we'll do all the doorknobs, light switches as we turn them off. Yeah. As we, you know, and, and then what we've been doing uh, is leaving uh, some of the, this, this house, this particular house that the owners are not living here currently. Yeah. But um, so we've, we've actually left some of the closets, the closets open and some of the cabinets so that when they just come in, we don't have to do a lot of setup. Right. You know, we can get it done quickly and we don't have to get here 30 minutes ahead of time we can get here you know 15 and get everything done and wipe down so but we're, we're doing that um so anything coming up any questions uh, not right now okay well we hope there are people out there watching this and we hope that you are learning something uh, i can't think of any other topics that we we're going to discuss or, uh, about today that i think you know we've been on now for about a little over half hour you know with the first uh, virtual oh, house yeah. and now uh, all right, so I guess we'll, we'll sign off for now, but we'll leave Facebook up and we will be available for questions, questions yeah. or you can send us an email at sales at convertedrealtyteam.com. Um, we'll take down our one open house sign we had to put up for the virtual open house today. We'll take down our sign, we'll take our signing sheets. We still have all this stuff. I have a kit and it's all in there, but I'm just not using it right now. Don't need it that way right now. So yeah, so let us know if you can help in any way. If you're a buyer or a seller, go to our website, uh, check out what we're doing and we can help you. If you have an agent and you want to see one of our listings, this yeah. listing, 9569 8th Bay Street in Norfolk, or, or any of our other listings on our website, contact your agent and tell them to go to Showing Time. It's an app um, that we use. Uh, if they, 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 they will know what it is. They it. And Showing Time will tell your agent when that is. Yeah, and agents, don't worry. Um, we will follow up with you. you. There's pretty detailed instructions that come to you once the appointment's confirmed. And we will come to call you and we will talk about how things are going to happen. If you don't have an agent, what's the best thing for them to do? Um, email us at sales at convertedrealtyteam.com. Yes, sir. Um, or you can message us through Facebook. Whatever's easier for you. Yep. yep. And or you can go to our website. There's a contact us tab as well. And you can send us. Uh, it has our phone number and all that stuff. And the reason we're not putting the phone number out as much is because we think because we're on Facebook. People are on their computer or their phone, and it'd be easier just to email us or contact us through Facebook. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? Katie, got anything? No, not right now. All right.
Okay. Well, we're going to shut this down for now. Um, I will walk around and do that. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us today.